hi guys welcome back to my new video and today in this video we will learn how to make image animation on the website using html css and simple javascript as you can see on my computer screen here we have one image and if i move cursor over this image you can see the image in transparent style and then you can see the image in original form and there is one left and right movement icon also so we will learn to create this effect step by step using html css and javascript so keep watching this video till the end so here i have this folder and in this folder i have one html file one css file and another folder with the name images and in this folder i have some images you can find all these images link in the video description let's come back and this is my html file i have opened with the text editor and this is the css file if you don't know how to create html and css file and write the basic structures i will put the video link in the description where you can learn the basic html and css now we will add the content in the body tag that will be displayed on the website so here let's create one div with the class name container next we will add the css properties for this one so come to the css file here we will add width it will be 100 percent let's set height also 100 vh so it will be full screen after that i'll add display flex align items center and justify content center next add background and here I will add one background color code after adding this if I refresh the website you can see a light color on this complete web page which is approximately white let's come back and here in this div we'll create another div so let's add some space and here I will add one div with the class name let's write img box where we will add all the images like this next we will add one image in this div so we will add the img tag write the image file path so right now the image is in the images folder write the folder name which is images slash the file name so let's come back and I will show you the file name of the image file in this one you can see we have four image one is arrow.png background.png original.jpg this is the original image and this one is the transparent image if I open this you can see it is like this and this one is the original image if you don't know how to make the transparent image i'll show you one website open this website remove.bg and here you can upload one image and it will give you the transparent image let's try this one i'll select this original image select this one see you will get the transparent image simply click on this download button let me close this one so come back to the html file and here i'll add the image file path which is images slash transparent transparent dot png like this and let's set the width 100 percent next we will add the css properties for this img box so copy this one and come to the css file and let's add the width for this one so i will set the width only 60 percent rest will be blank space from the left side and right side for that i'll add margin auto let's add line height zero so it will remove the extra space from the image bottom and if i refresh the website it looks like this next we have to add the background in this image so 
you can see we have this background.png that we will add in the background of this div so just come back and here let's add background image url and write the file path again images slash background.png i have added this one and let's add one more thing overflow hidden if i refresh the website again and you can see there is a transparent type of background next we have to add one more image on this one that will be the original image so let me come back and here after this again create one more div we are creating one more div because we have to change the div width whenever we will take cursor over the image box so i'll add one div here and let's add the class name let me write img wrap like this and here i will add the original image so just copy this one and paste it here and write the image file path which is original.jpg this is the image again refresh the website and you can see the second image is coming at the bottom of the first image so we have to fix the position so that it will come over the first image so let's copy this class name img wrap and come to the css file add it here and for this one we have to set the position so i'll add the position absolute left it will be zero and top also zero like this and after adding this in the parent div which is the img box here we will add position relative like this and after that if i refresh the website you can see only original image is there on this web page and the transparent image is just behind this one that's why that is hidden next we have to add one more thing here here in this one we will add overflow hidden like this next we have to change the size of this image whenever we will move the cursor so let's come back and in this html file just above this closing body tag we will add a script tag in this script we will add the javascript so first we have to select the div we will select this one and this one because we have to change its size image wrap and we need this one also so let's create a variable here i'll write where img box document dot uh, let's add query selector and write the class name with the dot like this next we will add one more variable here so just copy this one and i will change it as img wrap and add this class name here it's done next we have to add the mouse movement on this one image box so let's copy this one img box and here let's add on mouse move equal to function
here we will add e and if I write here e dot page x it will give the x position of the cursor so it will give the x position with the respect to the body and we have to get the x position of the only image box so image box has some space from the left side so we have to calculate how much space is there to get that I'll write here let me add some space and here I'll add one more variable and let's write the variable name left space equal to and we need the left space for this one so write ng box dot offset left so we got the left space and we got the cursor position now if i get the x axis value and we will subtract this white space we will get the length of this space where the cursor is right now on this image so we will store it in another variable so let's write the variable name where box width and we will store this one e dot page x minus this left space like this and if I write here bracket plus pixel so we will get the value in the pixel now we have to set this value in the image wrap that we have to dynamically change whenever we will move the cursor we have to change its width so to do that just copy this one and here let's add dot style dot width equal to this one it's done after that refresh the website and you can see this width is changing but the height is also changing it is because we are changing the width of the div and the image width is also changing because of the 100% width of the image here you can see we have added 100% so we have to fix its width this image width should not be changed for that let's remove this one and here let's add the id i'll write the id O R I G I original img and let's create variable for this one original img equal to document dot get element get element by id because we have created id so now we have to set its width and it will be fix according to this image box for now we will read the width of this image box for that here let's add some space and write this original img dot style dot width equal to this img box dot offset offset width plus pixel now this original image width will be equal to the image box it will not change let's see you can see if I move cursor it is working fine now we have to add one vertical line and we will add one icon also that will be left and right movement icon so let's come back and here after this image wrap let's add one span and in this span i'll add one image 
file path it is arrow.png like this and let's add the class name arrow it's done next we will add the css for this span copy this one and come back to the css file write it here span and for this one let's add the width i'll write the width of uh, one pixel height it will be 100 percent then let's add cursor cursor and ew this size then background will be white and position absolute then write left 0 and top also 0 now in this one we have the icon so let's copy this class name arrow write it here for this one we will set the width so let's set the width of 40 pixel then the position it will be absolute let's write the top 50 percent then we will move it to the left side and to the top so let's add the margin of 20 pixel from the left side because the width is 40 pixel so it is minus 20 pixel left and margin top also minus 20 pixel let me refresh the website and you can see this icon in the left side here it is one icon is there so we have to move this span also with this cursor movement so let's come back and here in this span let's add one id i will add the id let's write line and create variable for this one also duplicate this right line and here also line now we will add the same thing copy this variable line here we will add line dot style dot left equal to this one that's it again refresh the website and you can see this vertical line is also moving with this icon if i refresh this website right now you can see the full image is displaying for that let's come back here in this span we will add left 20 pixel and uh, let's come to the image wrap this one here also we will add width 20 pixel we can also write 0 let's refresh the website and you can see only 20 percent width is visible if i move it will display the other part so this is how we have created this effect i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one Thank you so much for watching this video.